already seen an inch and a half of rain in the past hour, and one of the biggest issues we're seeing right now is hail. Up to three quarters of an inch size hail reported right here in the city. Damage to vehicles and roofs is not out of the question. We do expect to see more of this hail as the storm continues. the information you wanted. Where's the rest of my money? That was the deal. Half up front and the rest on delivery. Is 
Is it all here? This is everything I can get. So, we're square, right? Okay. Let's just, let's just pretend we never even met. Anything? Nothing yet. You know, if you'd slow it down a bit on those, you wouldn't have to keep leaving to take a piss. <laughs> I'm starting to think this guy might not show. It's already, what, an hour overdue? You better show. Otherwise, it's three months of undercover work for Bobby down the shitter. We sure as hell don't want that. This is supposed to be my ticket in narcotics full time, fellas. Let's not fuck it up, all right? Don't worry, Bobby. You got your six. We're just around the corner. Are you sure we actually want this guy working with us full time? I mean, I know he's your wife's kid brother and all, but, like, he's still pretty green, you know? What can I say? I owe her one. She gets such great head. <laughs> hey, cocksuckers, you know I can still hear you, right? <laughs> We're just fucking with you, man. Guys, hang on a second. It might be showtime. There's a car turning in right now, but it doesn't look like it's Marini's car. You sure it's not him? Can't say definitively, but it's definitely not his normal ride. Think Marini sent someone in this place? This doesn't feel right. It didn't feel right when he chose this place to meet. I don't like this. He's been undercover in Marini's operation for months now. You think they made him? Bobby, you need to get out of there. Now. 
I repeat, get out of there now. Hey, Marini, is that you? I got what we set up for. We got 30 kilos. God damn it. Get us over there, Chris. Oh, shit. I gotcha! Now! Fuck! He's gone. What? Maintain cover fire. I'm going around. That's enough. That's enough. He's gone. John. How could you let me die? I'm off. Yeah? Well, I need you to be back on for this, like, now. Text me to location. <sighs> Shit. He's gone. He's gone. What? what?
part of I'm off today. Do you not understand? Sorry, man. I need your help with this one. What's the story? So I guess delivery driver was dropping off a package. Saw the garage door standing open, popped his head in, found this. Great. Doesn't look like it. He ran a quick UV. No obvious semen or vaginal trauma. Robbery? No signs of forced entry and nothing obvious is missing. Who's the Vic? Macy Ann Stevenson, 25. Shows this address on her license. Looks like she lives here alone. What do we think about the driver? Alibi checks out. Saw the suitcase. I wonder where she's heading. You guys need to see this. Oh, shit. Damn. You know what this means, right? Yeah. I should have stayed in bed. Hi, Sammy. Why do they always run? I hate it when they run. Omaha? Omaha. Let me see your hands. Girls got this. So, do you want to get drinks at Dexter's after work? Sure. So let me see if I've got this straight. Delivery driver randomly decides to poke his head inside an open door, finds a woman dead in her kitchen. She happens to work for the fucking FBI. As an analyst, yes sir. Can't make this shit up. No sir. Has the bureau been contacted? Yes sir, I let him know. You're gonna wanna send an agent over to Lee's. There's already one en route from New York, a agent Carter. We're still lead on this though, right boss? Unless we connect her to an open investigation she was a part of, we're still the lead, but we're obviously gonna share intel. Now, what do we know about this analyst? Not a lot. Recruited to the Bureau fresh out of college two years ago. Graduated top of her class. No record, single, no kids. Search her home yet? Preliminary search didn't turn up much. We're getting a warrant going back here in a little bit. Well, don't miss anything. We need to know everything we can about this woman. What she eats, where she goes on vacation, who her dentist is, what kind of birth control she uses. I mean, everything. This is not a case that we can afford to fuck up. Am I clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, get out of here and keep me posted. We're going to need the pull phone and financial records, too. Can you take care of the warrants? Sure. I'll head down to the DA's office. What are you going to do? I have an errand to run. Sounds good.
Hey Abby, it's me. Just wanted to call and say a great job again today on that arrest. You would think by now that Sammy would know not to mess with you. I guess he'll never learn. Anyway, I got your text about not being able to get drinks tonight. It's no problem. We can always try again tomorrow. I really appreciate you taking me under your wings these last few weeks. I think I am finally catching on. Anyway, give me a call when you can. Talk to you later. Bye. Taylor. There's an Agent Carter here with the FBI asking for you. Where's he at? Well, she is in the conference room. Okay. Thanks. It's not much, but we're working on it. Oh, hello, I'm- You're with the FBI. I saw your jacket. Well, what I was gonna say was, hi, my name is Abby Carter, but yes, I'm with the FBI. And you are? John Taylor, RPD. Well, John Taylor, RPD, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm sure. Look, if you're afraid that the Bureau's here to poach your case, that is not what is happening. I'm only here to help. Okay then, Agent Carter. What can you tell me about this analyst of yours? And why would anyone want to put a knife in her neck? Her personnel file's on the table, so you'll know about as much as I do, which isn't a lot. I've never personally met her, but from what I hear, she's pretty quiet. Kept to herself mostly, would often eat alone, didn't really hang out with coworkers outside of work. They're dumping her computer now to see if they can find anything relevant. Text shed it so it'll only take a day or so. Our research indicates that she's single, lives alone, no kids. That's my understanding as well. My partner's on the way back from the DA's office with the search warrant for this lady's home. Macy. Excuse me? Her name is Macy Stevenson, not just this lady. Right. Makes. Speak of the devil. Change of plans. He's just going to meet us at the residence. Come on, you can ride with me. Sure. Sounds fun. So, what did you do to end up with this case? Same as you, I would assume. I was assigned. Been at the New York office long? Three years. Five total with the Bureau. Mm-hmm. I never gave much thought to being a Fed. My partner considered it once, but I guess I just prefer real police work. Real police work? You think that what we do somehow isn't legitimate? I think that federal law enforcement agencies think they're better than everybody else. They show up and act like their shit don't stink. No offense. I'm not offended because that's not what I'm doing. I feel like you've had a bad experience at some point, but I'm here because the victim is one of ours. My intention is for us to work together. So, if you've got that out of your system now, let's try and do that to solve this case. Because that's what I'm here to focus on. This case.
Nice place. Is it common for employees to live so far out from the city? We've got to be like, what, two hours from your office? Yeah, it's pretty common. Cheaper cost of living. Carter. Think your partner's here already? Oh shit, John! Hey, you okay? Oh god damn, where is he? Who? Some guy with a bat. Where'd he go? <clears throat> Out the door, I imagine. He's gone. Son of a bitch. I'm calling you a bus. No, I'm fine. You have a head injury. Trust me, this is not the first time I've been hit in the head. Think it's safe to assume he has something to do with Macy's murder? You think? Now we just need to figure out what he was doing here. We already know that the safe was cleaned out and the computer is missing. Maybe he was just making sure he didn't leave anything behind. What the hell is going on here? My thoughts exactly. What the hell's going on here? Someone was already here and got the jump on me. You okay? I'll live. Detective Chris Andrews, FBI Special Agent Abby Carter. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Excuse me. Hey, listen man. I am so sorry. For what? It's not like you're the one to hit me in the head with a bat. We're not getting here sooner. If I did, maybe, maybe I could. Hey man, don't sweat it. I'm fine. We're fine. Let's just focus on figuring out what's going on here. Where are we on phone and financial records? Zilch on the call logs. No unusual repetitive calls received or placed. Still waiting on financials too, but uh, they should be in by this afternoon. Good. Let's get a CSU team out here. See if this guy left anything behind for us. I mean, he was wearing a mask, gloves, the whole nine, so probably not. But let's go ahead and get it started. Will do. If he left anything, we'll find it. He had me, Chris. What do you mean? He had me. I looked right at him and didn't even see him. I was careless. I should be dead right now. It's just by dumb luck I'm not. What's wrong?
She put up a fight. Petechial hemorrhaging, markings on the neck suggest asphyxiation. Most likely manual. Strangulation. I need to see her. I really don't think that's a great Jason, idea. Jason, I need to see her. I'm so sorry, Katie. I'll get this bastard. I promise. Agent Carter. What is it? Holy shit. Do you think this means- This means that your case is now officially a federal investigation. The unsub that killed our analyst just killed a federal agent. And he's just getting started. You're putting those away awfully fast, don't you think? What are you, my mother? Sorry. It's been a stressful day. I know. I was there. In fact, someone I consider a friend was murdered today. So yeah, it's been a stressful day. Okay, okay. I said I was sorry. How well did you know her? She transferred in a couple months ago. We've worked a few cases together. Spin classes before work. Drinks after on occasion. We were really just starting to get to know each other on a personal level. Anybody come to mind as a potential suspect? Anyone linking... Katie and this analyst? No, nobody. I mean, the fact that they both worked at the Bureau is a big red flag, but I've gone through her email and phone records and there's no communication between her and Macy Stevenson and she wasn't involved in any of Katie's active investigations. So the question is, is this guy targeting FBI employees at random or were these two people specifically chosen? I don't know. And what the hell is up with leaving that note behind? Hey guys. Finally got Stevenson's financial records. Anything of interest? Oh yeah. Check out the deposit two weeks ago. Where the hell did she get that kind of money? Anything turn up at the house? Nothing useful. Finished processing a little while ago. As you know, all the electronic devices were missing. And that suitcase had about a week's worth of clothes. Okay. So now we're finally seeing some pieces of this puzzle. She was obviously involved in something. Probably got in over her head was gonna go on the run. Or maybe she was just going on vacation? With 50K in liquid cash? How's Agent Mitchell factor into all this? Any chance she was dirty? No way, not her. She was as straight as they come. Are you sure? I'm sure. Macy's personal devices might be missing, but we still have her work computer and Katie's property was already sent to Quantico for analysis. Good. Let's go ahead and call it a night for now, and tomorrow Hold we'll- that thought. We got another body. Oh, you guys are gonna love this one. Mark. Buddy, why are we here? We've already got one dead body in the last 24 hours. Shouldn't another team be up for this? Oh, trust me, this has your name written all over it. Literally. What the fuck? Who is she? Uh, Vic's name's Alyssa Nicole Cohen, 35. She's a grad student at the local university. Husband and six-year-old daughter came home and found her. She's been gutted. Does the husband have an alibi? They're tight, we already checked it out. I don't see any defensive wounds. Only thing we could find was one laceration to the left palm. Signs of forced entry? 
No, but the husband said when he got home, the overhead door was open. We closed it up to seal off the scene. Why is your name written in blood? I hope that's a rhetorical question. Taylor. Hello, detective. Who's this? Oh, I think you know. No, I don't. That's why I asked. Her arrogance is not amusing. Neither is this little game of yours. I mean, what's your goal here exactly? You'll see soon enough. Who the fuck is this guy? What do you want with me? I mean, I assume there's something considering you filleted this young girl here and wrote my name in blood. Time is running out, detective. What the hell is going on here? What does he want with you? No idea. Think he's surveying the scenes and sees you leading the investigation? Possibly. Honestly though, no idea. We have three bodies in less than 24 hours. And Agent Mitchell's murder didn't even happen in Reardon. And yet somehow, they're all connected. You know what, let's just go ahead and call it a night. You're kidding, right? No, I mean, we are all exhausted. And that's when fuck ups happen. Besides, it's gonna take CSU all night to process this. Fine. It's almost two now, so let's meet back at the office, say, nine? Works for me. I'll be a little later. I'm gonna run by the CTF in the morning and see if they were able to pull anything from Stevenson's computer. Sounds good. Morning, Jean. Abby. Hey. I'm sorry about Mitchell. I'm very curious to know what you found since you wouldn't tell me over the phone. Have a seat. Okay. So when we pulled Stevenson's computer, we discovered that she had installed malware on it. She installed it? Yes. In order to access unauthorized bureau files at an off-site location. Do we know where? In addition to that, she had programmed the computer to wipe the hard drive the day of her murder. Don't we have security measures in place to prevent that kind of thing from happening? Yes, and they did. Um, although the hard drive wipe was attempted, safety measures kicked in and preserved the data. It took some doing, but we were able to determine what it was that she was accessing. Or should I say whom? Who was it? There were two individuals um, that she retrieved the personal and professional data on. Two agents, actually. Menschel and you. This is everything we could find that she accessed. Oh my god. This is literally my entire personnel folder. Case files, emails. What the hell was she doing? I don't know what she was doing with it, but we were able to isolate the IP address. Reardon. Stevenson lives there. So it was just going to her home computer? I can't say that for sure. She had some sort of scrambling system set up. The best I could do was isolate the IP address to the city. I'm sorry. Don't be. This is helpful. Kind of creates more questions than answers, but it's something. I only wish we had her personal devices for you to go through. If you can find it, I'll do it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to comb through all this and see if there's anything I missed. Thanks, girl. I owe you a coffee. Make it a beer.
What are you doing here? Honestly, I don't know. I told you I prefer if you only came here when it's your day to pick Kylie up. Erica, I don't know what to do. Just tell me what to do. About what, John? Our divorce was finalized six months ago, and in a few days it'll be the year anniversary of my brother's death. What do you want me to tell you? Look, I don't hate you. You know that. And I really do appreciate everything you still do for me and for Kylie, being there for her. But I can't forgive you. I've tried, and I can't. I have to go now and get her ready for daycare. We'll see you Friday. Taylor. What did you say? CTF was able to determine that Stevenson was stealing information about me and Agent Mitchell. For what purpose? I have no idea. Records show that hard copies were made of both of our personnel files. Information she should have never had access to. Does this mean we should consider you a target? I don't know. Maybe. Well, you're obviously wrapped up in this one way or another. I have no idea how. I've never interacted with Stevenson. Katie and I were just becoming friends and I've never even heard of our third Vic. That's the wild card here, isn't it? The Cohen homicide doesn't fit into any of this. And besides, it was your name written in blood, not Carter's. Okay, let's take a step back and look at what we already know. Two weeks before she's murdered, our first victim deposits 50K in liquid cash into her personal checking account. She then goes on to steal confidential information about both Agent Minchel and Agent Carter. And those files weren't found anywhere at the crime scene? Negative. Search your house and vehicle from top to bottom. Definitely not there. Why was her luggage like this? It's all strewn out everywhere. Like someone was looking for something. Maybe she had the documents on her when she was going to make her break for it? Possibly. What if it was money? I mean, think about it. If you're going to bribe someone to steal confidential information from the FBI, you're probably going to pay half and half, right? I mean, you're not going to give them everything up front. You want to make sure they hold up their end of the deal. What I don't get is why her. Why Stevenson? Her record was spotless. She had no high-value connections. It just didn't make any sense. Why bribe her? And more importantly, why take the bribe? She was financially healthy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I remember seeing something the text pulled off her social media accounts. There it is. There's the reason she took the bribe. Are you serious? Care to share? Last month, Stevenson's mother was diagnosed with cancer. She just lost her job three weeks ago, too. So, no health insurance. Exactly. Macy took to social media to vent about how expensive chemo is and how they weren't going to be able to afford it. Damn. Well, that certainly gives her a reason to need the cash. We found her passport in her luggage. Certainly paints the picture she was going to leave the country. That's not that surprising. She knew that the data breach would be found and traced back to her. She knows how our system works. So you're saying she was just going to leave the money behind for her mom and skip town? That's how it looks. That and maybe she knew that our unsub was going to come after her. Okay. But how do you fit into all this? Or Minchel? Or you? All very good questions. Michelle, am I glad to see you. Come on in. Guys, this is SSA Michelle Ward. She's with the BAU. Ah, uh, the profiler, huh? Yes, the profiler. Detectives John Taylor and Chris Andrews. Sorry to have these dropped. No, you're fine. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, thanks for coming to help so quick. Absolutely. News travels fast when it's one of your own, and our unit chief agreed with me when I volunteered to lend a hand. Well, I hope that big brain of yours certainly lives up to its reputation. 
Don't mind him. Were you able to review the case information on the way up here? Yeah, and mixed with everything I just heard, it sounds like you guys have quite the mess. That's an understatement. Hampered to the face. Nice touch. Well, we're obviously dealing with an unsub who is extremely organized. That's not news to anybody. No helpful evidence has been found at any of the scenes? Nope. No hair, fingerprints, blood, nothing. And none of the victims were sexually assaulted? No. The first was stabbed in the neck, the second was choked to death, the third one was eviscerated and had her throat cut. So the most recent was the most violent? Without a doubt. How does the third victim fit into the picture? We don't know yet. The first two were obviously bureau employees tied to Carter either directly or through their actions. We think we have the analyst role figured out. And I'm pretty sure that Agent Mitchell's death was simply used as a means to taunt Agent Carter. As for the third, no obvious connection. Finding this guy's MO might be a little difficult. Oh, come on. It doesn't matter how nuts you are. The reasons why people kill never change. I think we can remove sex, ideology, and money from this case. Well, whatever his reason is, it's obvious it involves Agent Carter and now you. Now, whether that was in his plan from the start or if it's just because you're the lead detective remains to be seen. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? First there was one, now there are two. I'm far from done, I'll be coming for you. Yeah, we've read it. But what stands out about it, about the grammar? Only two of the letters are capitalized in this note, an A and a C, my initials. Coincidence? Seriously. And look at this, Alyssa Cohen, again, the same initials. We couldn't figure out how she factored into all this. That's how. And here it is again, the only letters capitalized are an A and a C. Yeah, but it's backwards, it's C and an A. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but do you honestly think this lady was killed simply because her initials are the same as yours? You can be sure there are no coincidences in this case. This man is smart and cunning. Everything he's done has been on purpose. He's been planning this for months, if not longer. To us, it may seem like it's just one big death game for him, but everything he's done is for a reason. We need to start reviewing your case files and cross-reference them with ours, see if there's any connections. We need to get protective details on our families. You have family in Reardon? No, but Katie lived halfway between here and New York, 45 minutes away. That didn't stop him. Plus, all of my family's info is in my personnel file, so he has it. I'm not taking any chances. Michelle, can you get with A.D. Reed, get it arranged? Right away. Chris, can you get with the chief and get it taken care of on our end? On it. Agent Ward, if you'd like to come with me, you can call your director from my office. Thanks. What are the chances that you'd be assigned to this case? I mean, you didn't volunteer, right? You told me you were assigned. That's right. So, what are the chances that you would be randomly assigned to a case that ends up being all about you? Director, quick question. Why did you assign me to the case in Reardon? What are you talking about? You volunteered. No, sir. I have a text message from you ordering me to report to Reardon. Agent Carter, I have an email from you specifically requesting this assignment. I replied to it and granted your request. We never exchanged any text messages about this case. Sir, I need you to do me a favor and submit your phone and computer to the CTF for analysis immediately. Excuse me? Please, sir. Just do it as soon as possible. I'll call you back shortly and explain. Thank you. This is insane. Yes, it is. But I think I might know how to get this son of a bitch. Jean, it's me. I need a favor. You were right. The assistant director's phone was cloned. 
Similar technology was utilized in the email exchange. We will determine the origin. Not yet, but we're close. An encryption program was utilized. We're running decryption software right now. So, if it's successful, will it tell us who's behind this? I believe so, sir. There's no indication we're going to run into the same issues we'd have with Stevenson's computer. Whoever did the cloning is not as savvy as Stevenson was. All right. But I want on the second you have an answer. Yes, sir. Gene, you've got to make this work. This may be our only chance at finding this guy. Might be his one slip up. Is it though? What? A slip up. This unsub has been so calculated with everything he's done so far that we're supposed to believe he's screwed up now. It doesn't feel right. What are you saying? That he wants to be caught? I don't know, but getting caught at this point in his little game doesn't seem to serve a purpose. Funny thing about psychopaths, they don't always make sense. All right. Taylor. Hello, detective. Who is this? Are you enjoying this little game we're playing? Not really the sort of game I'm into. I'm more of a shoots and ladders kind of guy. Arrogance does not suit you, detective. Why don't you cut the shit and tell me what you want with me and Agent Carter? I see you've been paying attention. You literally wrote my name in blood. Doesn't take a genius. I'll give you this much. You've got us stumped about your little obsession with Agent Carter. Abigail is simply one piece of a much, much larger puzzle. What's this puzzle look like when it's all put together? Death. Well, let me tell you something, pal. After everything you've done, death is certainly what's coming for you. Carter. It's Andrews. I tried calling John, but he's not answering. Did something happen? Hang on a second. What's the matter? Don't like that concept? Is death only fun whenever you're responsible? Anything. He's using cloning tech. I can't even triangulate it. Your attempts to track this call will not be successful. We will meet when I decide the time is right. Why wait? Let's just meet right now. Soon. Very soon. I've got a bullet with your name on it, you sick, twisted. How is Erica John? I hope she's well. Is that Chris? Chris? What's going on? Did you get the protection details in place? Yeah, I got a unit sitting on your house now. They're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, they're checking in every 30 minutes. Why? I need you to get over there right now. Yeah, man, sure. What happened? We're in New York. I'll give you the details later. I'll call you on the way up. We need to get back to Reardon, like right now. Abby, hold up. What is it? The encryption's done. And? The phone that was utilized to clone Reed's phone? Look who it's registered to. Guys, hang on a second. What is it? Reed's phone was cloned by a number registered to the town of Reardon. That doesn't really narrow it down. Reardon's 75,000 people. Not in the town of Reardon. To the town of Reardon. As in the government. Does the number register to a specific person? No. It's only in the system as town of Reardon. So we need to figure out who it belongs to. Easy enough. The HR department will have every number on file. We give them a call, and we got this guy. Coming. Chris? Hello, Erica. What do you do now? Care if I come in? So, are you guys actually anywhere close to catching this guy? We're getting there. We're just being extra cautious right now. Any idea what he wants with John and FBI agent? Carter, and not really. Uh, where's Kylie? Oh, she's with my mom. John called earlier and said it was best if she stay with her for the time being. That was smart. 
Well, this guy definitely sounds like he has more than a few screws loose. I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, he's actually giving us a pretty good run for our money. Seems pretty intelligent. Well, you guys will catch him. You're both really good at what you do. I like to think so. Okay, thank you very much. Of course. What? The HR director's out on her lunch break, and the secretary doesn't have access to that kind of information. She said she'll ever call us when she gets back. Detective, can the police department not look up the number? No. It will only show that it's registered to the town, not which individual. So, what are we thinking? Obviously someone in the town government has it out for both of us. But who? And why? I have no idea. Whatever angle this guy's playing at, it's completely lost on me. So are you gonna let me in on why I had a police car sitting in front of my house and why you're here now? Come on, Chris. You've known me a long time. I'm a big girl. Let me guess, some sort of very specific threat was made. Yeah, I guess you could say the suspect mentioned you by name. <sighs> Wonderful. But that's why I'm here now, to take you to a safe place. Where exactly would that be? Probably just back to the PD at this point. Not much safer than a building full of cops. Depends on who you ask. We'll just go do me a favor and pack it back for the next few nights. Please. <sighs> Fine. I still don't get is why you chose the third victim. You cannot expect me to believe he killed her simply because she has your initials. Why not? It's one hell of a power move. He wants to show you that he has the time and the resources to pull off whatever he wants. I mean, look how much he's done in less than two days. I think the only way this guy is going down is if he's killed. <laughs> well, I'm more than happy to oblige. Finally. Agent Carter. Hi, Ms. Carter. This is Sarah Rawlings with the HR department in Reardon. I'm so sorry I was out when you called. Were you able to get me a name? I just got back, ma'am. I'm running it right now. Give me just a second. She's pulling the info now. Put it on speaker. Okay, so it looks like the number was assigned relatively recently, um, about six months ago, to a member of the police department. And that employee would be a Detective Chris Andrews. That's impossible. Sarah, this is Detective Taylor. What number did you run? Uh, the number that Agent Carter left with my assistant, 518-555-1109. Um, There's got to be a mistake. That's not Detective Andrews' number. I would know. Uh, hang on just a second. Let me double check. OK. It looks like six months ago, Detective Andrews requisitioned a second town-issued phone. Uh, there's a note here saying that it's for an undercover assignment and only his primary should be used for contact. Thank you for your help, Ms. Rawlings. You're welcome, ma'am. May I ask what this is in regards to? That explains how the killer was able to call you while Andrews was calling me at the same time. Two phones. He did it to throw us off. He's not answering. What number did you try? His primary. Mel, it's Taylor. Which unit do you have sitting on my house? What do you mean? On whose authority? Son of a bitch. He released a patrol unit that was assigned to Erica. Come on, pick up. I sent him straight to her. Pick up, Erica. Voicemail, god damn it. I did this. I sent him straight to her. 
Slow down. We don't know definitively that it's him. Think about it. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he? Debbie, it's me. Did Erica already drop Kylie off? Okay, good. I need you to listen to me. Drop whatever it is you're doing and take Kylie to the police department right now. Look, I don't have time to explain. I just need you to listen to me. Take her there and wait until you hear from me. Just tell the desk sergeant who you are and that I sent you. Thank you. This can't be real. You said it yourself. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he do this? Two coming in. Erica? John! sure what happened. I, I heard a noise. I, uh, I came through the door and something just charged at me. Enough of your games, you son of a bitch. We know it was you. John, what are you talking about? Cut the shit and tell me the truth. John, hold on a second. We know that the unsub has technical skills. It's entirely possible that he framed Detective Andrews. Buddy, listen to me. I don't know what you think you found, but I swear to you, I had nothing to do with any of this. And we're just wasting time we could be using to find Erica. Tell me exactly what happened. I came here like you asked me to. I told Erica she needed to pack a bag and that I was gonna take her to station for the time being. She was in her room packing. I heard a noise and some dogs barking. I came out here to check it out. That's the last thing I remember. Listen to me very carefully. If you are lying to me, if you're involved in this in any way at all, if you harm her, I will kill you. What happened? The suspect was using a phone that's registered to you to clone my director's cell. That's how I got a text from him assigning me to the case. There's no way. Apparently, there is. Look, it'll be dark here soon. We need to get back to station. And until I know for sure what's going on, I don't want him out of my sight. I can drive his car back. Keys. Park out back. Where's Ward? She texted me and said she got caught at a red light and lost us. I gave her the address. What do we know? Not much more than what I already told you on the phone. 
none of the neighbors saw anything, and only one had a security camera and it was pointed in the opposite direction. We're gonna find her, John. Watch him. Said anything yet? Keep saying it's a setup. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what to think about any of this, to be honest. Carter? She thinks there's a possibility he's telling the truth. I think we should give him the benefit of the doubt. He's one of us. He's your friend. And he has absolutely no motive to do any of this. The only thing we have is a phone number that's supposedly registered to him. That number belongs to the town. So whether or not it's really his, someone for the town is responsible. This much we know for sure. We got units out all over town canvassing. Erica's mom and Kylie are with Roberts and Patrick. They're safe. Why don't you and Carter go over to Andrew's house, see if you can find anything useful. Without a warrant? Be discreet. If you find anything, leave it there and get the hell out. We'll get a warrant and make it official. We just don't have time to fuck around with the DA's office. Carter. I'd like you to go with Detective Taylor. He'll fill you in on the plan. Of course, Chief. Chris is not taking any chances. Get out and go find answers. John, we're going to find her. As small as this town is, it is a freaking maze. Where are you guys going? We're headed to... We're just gonna check in on something real quick. Andrew should be back in the squad room. Is he still maintaining his innocence? Yeah. And he offered to go through everything we have to see if we miss anything. You mind hanging back and helping out? Of course. Is he up there by himself? No, Chief is with him. Okay. We shouldn't be gone more than an hour. Come on. If you find anything, call us. Will do. Michelle. Be careful. Find anything, Detective? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, I definitely found something. must be cut. We have a warrant for this, right? Sure. You still dead set on Andrews? As much as I don't want to believe it, my gut won't let me ignore it. It's just something more than the whole phone number thing. How do you mean? It's just been off for like months. Didn't really realize it until this little turn of events. Then I started looking back. John? What'd you find? You have to see this. Oh my god.
Hey, Chief. Sorry to bother you. Not at all, Major Ward. But please, come in. What can I do for you? Well, sir, I've been sitting in there speaking with Detective Andrews, and I have to say, I think we overlooked an important clue that's been under our noses the entire time. He's been running surveillance on us for some time now. There's pictures of everybody up here. Why? What's his end game? I think I know. He applied to the Bureau. I knew I recognized him. During his interview phase, I was part of the peer panel. Okay. I was the one that recommended his rejection. Why? Just something about him rubbed me the wrong way. I mean, it's hard to explain, but it's just a gut feeling. Okay. This means him being attacked and us finding him was just a smokescreen. He's definitely involved in Erica's disappearance. So, he has a partner? Has to. Holy shit. So, what's your theory? I think we've been going about this all wrong. We already know the unsub has technical skills and is proficient with computers. And? Well, I think it's completely possible that the records tying that phone number to Detective Andrews were completely fabricated as a means to tie him to these murders. After all, he was with the others when the unsub called Detective Taylor, which he obviously couldn't have done if he was the killer. And I truly believe by keeping him grounded here, we are doing a disservice to this investigation. I agree with you. Thank you, sir. Unless he has a partner. I guess that's why you're the boss. Excuse me? What happened? Too smart for his own good. You think anybody heard that? No one's here, they're all out canvassing. They won't be gone forever. Let's go. <sighs> Nobody's answering. This is unreal. Said it yourself. Sure was convenient. She volunteered to help. This also explains how we have Chris right in the room with us when we're getting phone calls. How the fuck do these two even know each other? We'll figure that out later. Come on, we gotta go. This is so exciting, my heart is pounding. We have to move fast. I know those two idiots have found where I left room at the house. Speaking of, did you find what we left for you? I told you I did. I can't believe this is going as planned. So far, so good. Okay, thanks Sam. HRT's en route from New York, but ETA's 90 minutes at least. What's the plan? I have a feeling we're about to find out. I'm coming for you. Hello, Detective. Well, I guess I don't need that anymore, do I? I'm gonna kill you. John, have you learned nothing from this little game of ours? This is not a game, you maniac. These are people's lives you're fucking with. And besides, it's over. We know everything made a little visit to my house, did you? Yes, we did. We know why you're doing this, and we know Michelle is involved. And you know all of that? Because I wanted you to know. You're not smarter than me. You won't beat me. This game only ends one way. Yeah, with you in a body bag. Maybe. Maybe not. Where is my wife? Ex-wife, buddy. Ex. She's alive. For now. 
And if you wanted to stay that way, you're going to listen very closely to my instructions. Well, this is ominous. Are you sure you don't want to wait for backup? You heard him. He'll kill her at the first sign of backup. You know this is a trap, right? I hate to say it, but he may have already... I know. But I have to assume he didn't until I know for sure otherwise. This is the mother of my child. I have to try. I know. So, what's the plan? Well, you heard him. He said no tricks. Just walk through the front door. Yeah, and get shot in the process. I don't think that's what he plans to do. I'm sure he has some terrible villainous monologue to bore us with first. So, you ready for this? I'm ready. It's been a pleasure working with you, Agent Carter. You as well, Detective. Come on, let's go. What was this place? It started out as a school, but was closed down some 50 years ago. Then it was repurposed into a mental health facility for kids, but it got shut down when word got out that the kids were being abused by staff. That's awful. You don't know the half of it. So, now what? Split up? You think that's a good idea? Not even a little bit, but we can cover more ground. Plus, two of them, two of us. Mm, wait, what if there's more we don't know about? Or maybe I could be a little more optimistic. Good plan. So, right or left? Mm, you pick. I'll take right. Comms check. Read me. I gotcha. Same. Look, if you run into Erica before I do, just get her out of here, okay? Copy that. Oh, and Abby, good luck. You too. Turn around. I said turn the fuck around. Enough of the games, Chris. Take off the fucking mask. Take it off.
Give me one good reason not to end you right now. If you did that, you won't find out what happened to Erica. Where is she? Not this game again. Didn't we already play 20 questions once today? I thought you liked games, right? Or is it only you like games that involve people dying? Everyone needs a hobby, buddy. How could you do this? You were my friend. What the hell happened to you? See, now they're asking the important questions. You know what this place is? I'm not doing this with you, Chris. Tell me where she is. The answer is an elementary school built in the early 1900s, originally designed to enrich children's lives, help them learn, grow, embrace their futures. I bet the builders had no idea that one day this place would be hell on earth for dozens of kids. Maybe hundreds. Truly, the stuff of nightmares. Did you know that? Did you know that I was one of those kids? Uh oh. There she is. You're psychotic. Well, holy shit. You're one hell of an investigator there, Sherlock. You should put in for the BAU. Here they might have an opening. But you know what, Abby? You're not wrong. I am psychotic. I guess spending your childhood being abused by a drunk father while your schizophrenic and bipolar mom shooting up in the next room, do that to a person. I guess you could say I'm a product of my environment and my genetics. A double whammy. Guess that's why I do my job so damn well, huh? Just ask Katie. Or that bitch Cohen. My God. He can't help you. No one can help you. Tell me something, Michelle. How did we get here? What did he do to you? Oh, honey. You've got it all wrong. Maybe you're not as good as I thought you were. Listen, don't try and give me some sob story about how your childhood was traumatic and turned you into this- A monster? That's what I am now, right? A fucking monster? Only a monster can do what I've done. Honestly, I don't even know where it all started on Rapple. Thought I'd made it through it, you know? Recovered from what they did to us. But I guess you never really get over something like that. I mean, after Bobby was killed, they tried to deal with that and the fallout from it by just getting the fuck out of here. But then that bitch-fed friend of yours took that away from me. And I found myself spiraling. So, I did what I thought was right. Started therapy. Group therapy, to be exact. Specifically designed for law enforcement professionals. It's this online thing, so you can meet people from all over who are going through the same shit as you. Little did I know that by joining that group, I'd be given the opportunity to find out who I really am. That someone in that very group would help me find my true self. And here I am. Listen, buddy, I've known you half my life. You're not a killer. Detective, I am quite literally a killer. What I've done cannot be undone. Cannot be forgiven. Stop! Do it, John! Do it!
So, what do you think? I think that you're even crazier than I thought if you expect him to believe that you manipulated him into doing everything he's done. What's so hard to believe? All that anyone wants that's lost is to be found. I simply help find himself. Manson would be so proud of you. Shut the fuck up and keep moving late to the party. Come on, you know you want to. I'm a cold-blooded killer. And who knows what I did to Erica? Do it, John! Do it! No, I won't do it. I am not a killer! And you won't make me one either! Now, where is my wife? Do you feel that? That darkness inside you? We've all got it, buddy. Every single one of us. It's just a matter of time before it gets out. Look, I don't know how she brainwashed you, but whatever profiling bullshit she used on you, we can undo. We can get you the help you need, but you need to tell me where Erica is. Did you kill her? Let him go. Do it, or I blow a hole in her pretty little head. Good. Now take his gun. You don't have to do that. Shut the fuck up, you fucking pig. The game's almost over, love. You know what to do next. Don't back out on me now. Remember what these worthless fucks did to you. They ruined your life. I saved it. I helped you find yourself. Now finish it. Get on your knees. No. Get on your fucking knees! Look, if you're gonna kill me today, it's not gonna be on my knees. Now! Not gonna happen. Don't! Shut the fuck up. Are you ready, baby? Let's do this, Chris. Then we go get on that plane and live the life that we've talked about. We've been planning this for months. It's time. Three. Two. But... Drop the gun, Andrews. I got this. Chris, look at me. You fucked up. Like, you really fucked up. But your story doesn't need to end here, not like this. We can get you help. I can get you help. I'll go to prison for the rest of my life. Probably. Yeah. You know what they do to cops in prison. I can't live like that. It would be just like being here again. Don't do this. You remember that time we went snowboarding in Colorado? What was the name of that damn mountain? Silverton. Yeah, that's it. Silverton. Shit, that fucker was high, wasn't it? Yeah. I was such a little chicken shit. I remember the ride up on the lift and you just knew how scared I was. But of course, you being you, you wouldn't call me out on it. So you start telling me this story about how your granddaddy would take you fishing when you were a kid. You remember that? I just remember talking about how you fell out of the boat and you made you think the fish were gonna chew your toes off. You were scared to death, just like I was on the way up that mountain. By the time we got to the top, 
wasn't even scared anymore. You helped me with that. Eric is in a closet at the far end of the hall. Thank you. Tell her I'm sorry. Tell her yourself. It's okay. I'm not scared anymore. Don't do this. How's she doing? She's doing fine. Thank you very much. You should let these guys bring you in to get checked out. Just to be safe. Thanks, Dad. I'm fine. Really. Thank you. How's Erica? She's fine. The medics already checked her out and she's getting her statement now. I heard the others talking about Chief Adams. I'm sorry. Yeah. He didn't deserve it. He was a great man. The camera show Ward was the shooter. I just can't wrap my head around any of it. She literally worked with a bunch of profilers. And you're telling me that nobody noticed that she was a lunatic? Well, obviously she was very good at what she did. And then for Chris? I knew he had problems before in the past, but... I didn't know he was struggling like this. And all she saw in him was an easy target to manipulate and make into her puppet. Despite everything he did, I'm sorry about Andrews. Yeah. Me too. You guys okay? Yeah. Hell of a night. I guess you could say that. I've been there. So, want to come work with me? No, thank you. I'll stick to my little town. I like it here. Definitely have a reason to stay. We all make mistakes, John. Sometimes, if we're lucky, we get the chance to make up for them. Thank you. Oh, and Abby? I take away some of what I said about being a fed. Some? <laughs>